Nagran Baptist Church Council la 23rd Triennial Aro 87th Annual Gathering la Cultural Session de Kotha Korea Homoi. PhD Aro Cooperation la Minister Jacob Jumomi pra kuise Nagran de ekta strong foundation lage Jesus la teachings hikapule. Aro itu church ase kuise. I be itu la details sab. Which we call Itza in our Sumit dialect. Now we shall welcome. society in the Naga social fabric what we need to insert is that of course Naga people are very simple people most of us are modest but many are not modest we want to be humble but we cannot be humble only by the lip service, by the word of mouth, we pretend to be humble, but in actions, we are not humble. That is why there is this unity still existing in our society. Attempts have been made by state government as a political government elected by the people to serve the people. Efforts are being put. We organize Hornbill Festival every year in the state capital, trying to bring all the 17 tribes in one podium. And that has a meaning to exhibit in letter and spirit to build a strong foundation that we have to live together, we have to be one, we have to unite. These are all uh, very old saying, everybody says all these statements. But since we are not following, like I said, when we read the Bible, we don't follow. So it's a brand new book for us. So. As a citizen, of course, I am not saying we should not do welfare programs. But you cannot demand from the government. If you're paying f from your income to the government, like I said, like other states, if you're paying 30 rupees from the 100 rupees that you're earning, then you have a right to ask the government, where is our money? A different kind of status was given to the state of Nagaland, called the political status, special political status, not because of economic reasons or any other reason, social reasons. But 
like I cited, because of many, many reasons we were given political status. And that is how it was agreed upon to bear the expenses of the government salaries, administrative expenses. So you have to know exactly the status of the state government as a church leaders when you go back to your own districts. Because we have to love our people, we have to love our government, we have elected them. If you start hating your own government, because we are all chosen by Almighty God, then you are hating the decisions of Almighty God. We are all fall short of glory of God. That is a def uh, definitely that is a chapter we have to know. Nevertheless, that does not give us the license not to do welfare programs in the state. As a state government, we are putting in all our best effort. Government is very stable, but we need to more, more hard, harder. That is what I'm trying to say. And in this process, in this journey, in the growth trajectory of the state, church is going to play a very pivotal role. Each day is a challenging day for all of us.